Little Doll, Fantastic Mr. Fox. 15. Being Secret Cider Cellar. Mr. Fox examined the wall carefully. He saw that the cement between the bricks was in was old and crumbly, so he loosened a brick without much trouble and pulled it away. Suddenly, out from the hole where the bricks had been, there popped a small, sharp face with whiskers. Go away, it snapped. You can't come in here. It's private. Good lord, said Badger. It's a rat. It's a rat. You saucy beast, beast, said Mr. Fox. I should have guessed we'd find you down here somewhere. Go away, shrieked Rat. Go on, beat it. This is my private hitch. Shut up, said Mr. Fox. I will not shut up, shrieked Rat. This is my place. I got here first. Mr. Fox gave a brilliant smile, flashing his white teeth. My dear Rat, he said softly, I am a hungry fellow, and if you don't hop it quickly, I shall eat you up in one gulp. That did it. Rat popped back, glass out of sight. Mr. Fox laughed and began pulling more bricks out of the walls. When he had made a biggish hole, he crept through it. Badger and the smallest fox followed him in. They found themselves in a vast, damp, gloomy cellar. This is it, cried Mr. Fox. This is what? said Badger. This place is empty. Where are the turkeys? said asked the small fox, glaring into the gloom. I thought Bean was a turkey man. He is a turkey man, said Mr. Fox. But we're not after turkeys now. We've got plenty of food. Then what do you, we need, Dad? Take a look around, said Mr. Fox. Don't you see anything that interests you? Badger and the smallest fox peered into the half-darkness. As their eyes became accumulated into to the gloom, they saw to what they looked like a whole lot of big glass jars standing up upon shelves around the walls. They looked closer. There were jars. There were hundreds of them, and upon each one had written the word cider. The smallest fox leaped high in the air. Oh, Dad, he cried out. Look what we found. It's cider. Exactly, said Mr. Fox. Tremendous, shouted Badger. But in secret cider cellar, said Mr. Fox. But go carefully, my dears. Don't make a noise. The cellar is right underneath the farmhouse itself. Cider, said Badger. It's especially good for the badgers. Well, we take it as a medicine. One large glass three times with meals and another at bedtime. It will make the feast into a banquet, said Mr. Fox. While they were talking, the smallest fox had sneaked a jar off the shelves and had taken a gulp. Wow, he grabbed. Wowee. You must understand this was not an ordinary weak fizzy dried one. Fizzy cider one buys in a store. It is the real stuff. A home brewed fiery liquid that burns in your throat and boils in your stomach. Ah! Sh glass of small foxes is some cider. That's quite enough of that, said Fo Mr. Fox, rubbing being a jar and putting it to his lips. He looked at a tremendous gulp. It's marvelous, he whispered, fighting for his breath. It's fabulous. It's beautiful. It's my turn, Roger said. Inking the jar and tilting his head well back, the cider gurgled and bubbled in his throat. It's, it's like melted gold, he whispered gasped oh foxy it's like drinking sunbeams and rainbows you're portion shrieked rat put that down at once there will be none left for me rat was perched upon the high shelf in the cellar peering out from the behind a huge jar there was a small rubber tube inserted in the neck of the jar and rat was using the t this tube to suck out the cider you're drunk said mr fox Mind your own business, shrieked Rat, and if you great clumsy brute come messing about in here, we'll be caught. Get out and leave to my sip, my cider in peace. At that moment, they heard a woman's voice calling out in the house. Hurry up and get the cider, Malvo, the shouted. You know, Mr. Bean doesn't like to keep waiting, especially when he's been out all night in the tent. The animals froze. They stayed absolutely still. Their ears pierced, their bodies tense. Then 
they heard the sound of the door being opened. The door was at the top of the flight of stone steps, letting down from the house to the cellar. And now someone was daring to come those down those steps.